save tf2 is back baby oh yes if you played the hat themed war simulator at all earlier this week then you probably noticed the distinct lack of hats this is some real og tf2 stuff as the item servers went down for about three days tf2 2007 mode if you will now tf2 is no stranger to having no item servers as it unfortunately happens quite a lot but this was the worst time of the lot and to further compound the issue, Valve were completely radio silent all throughout. Which, to be fair, is nothing new. But just made them seem like they care less about the game than they already do. Which is very impressive, as it's already treated as an afterthought. And they've still yet to comment on it. Remember February last year, when this community post dropped, and the community collectively lost their minds? Only for expectations to be swiftly tempered with some suspect editing of the original post. It looked like that there was finally some light at the end of the tunnel for the TF2 community, but it was yet another false dawn as Valve quickly reverted to the old ways and returned to form, failing to communicate and only just pushing out those seasonal updates. It was a shame because the community finally felt heard, but that was just a move by Valve to really placate the fanbase, and to be fair, it did work. Now, talking about placating fanbases, anyone remember the original Save TF2 movement and that iconic tweet from May 2022 that we received? TF2 community, we hear you. We love this game and know you do too. We see how large the issue has become and are working to improve things. What a lie that was. That was when the bot crisis was in full swing, but the community banded together and through public action and just getting the the save to to hashtag trending online valve finally took some notice and we finally felt that valve would be finally addressing the issue and making our favorite game playable once again how wrong we were now in all fairness valve have taken some steps in an attempt to address the bot issues that have plagued the game for so long now but they always seem to act too slowly and their fixes are already made null and void pretty much as soon as they're implemented. Now, again, to be fair, I have been fairly lucky when playing casual myself on European servers. I haven't run into that many bots all that often. Um, that could be with the times I'm playing when it's peak player hours and stuff like that. But personally myself, I don't see them all too often. I mean, you'll be seeing clips in the background of this video where there are bots, but for the most part, I'm doing okay. But I do know that it is far worse in other regions, and that is just completely unfair. The game should be playable for everyone, not just those in the more popular regions like Europe and America. But even I've heard America being played by bots, so I don't really know if, if anywhere is safe. Anyway, let's jump back to the present. And as the item servers were entering their 16th hour of being down, Valve decided, in their infinite wisdom, to DMCA strike the people behind the TF2 Source 2 fan project. Now this is a beloved fan project, a real labour of love, that attempted to do something that it looks like Valve will never actually do, and that was port Team Fortress 2 to Source 2 through Sandbox. And honestly it looked amazing, I've been following this as it's been going on for years now, and the stuff that the, the Source 2 team are doing is absolutely phenomenal, like the game looks amazing in that new engine, and it really is a shame that we're never officially going to see that but now this is a, a big caveat here i can see why valve struck it they were porting official valve assets to a game and to a company that don't have the licenses for them so it does make sense but the timing of it was really harsh and it felt really tone deaf and especially while those item servers were down like the tip community was going crazy and it felt like a real mask off moment for valve to be honest it was really not a good look you can see why Valve acted the way they have. They have been stung multiple times in the past by community projects, but even then, it just wasn't a great look. I'm not excusing Valve by any means, but you can see why they reacted as they have. I know I've seen a lot of tweets saying, you know, past Valve would have hired these guys to work on that full time, and they probably would have. And maybe even modern day Valve would have if they weren't stung and backstabbed by the community like they have been since 2018 2017 odd it does hurt though because it's been a labor of love for the source 2 team for a very long time and it's just a shame to see it go like that i really wish valve could have reached some sort of agreement with them but that just doesn't seem possible unfortunately we have to ask the question 
why DMCA strike a fan project that was not harming TF2 in any way, and instead going after the things that are harming TF2, namely those publicly available cheats? The Valve legal team could easily go after those cheaters in the legal arena and not only make it harder for them to distribute the cheats, but could also tackle the issue head on rather than the fixes that Valve are trying to implement. Now, I'm not going to say I'm a legal expert. I am not by any means. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the law. But surely Valve can claim that these cheats, these bots, have harmed both the reputation of the game and their reputation themselves. I know you, you could sue for damages in that sort of regard, but surely they can use that as part of a way to get these cheats down um, out of the public domain. Now, they're always going to be available one way or another, but the main distribution of these cheats is freely available for anyone to access, and Valve have not done anything about that in the years that it's been available, so I really don't know what they're cooking. It's definitely nothing, but it seems like an easy fix that Valve could take to just, you know, give the, the TF2 community a bit of, you know, we actually care about the game. I mean, it's been since May 2022 that this that tweet dropped, and they've done nothing. It's quite disappointing, to be honest. And it's all in the face of, well, TF2's play numbers are on the up. We've smashed our peak player records many times since the original Save TF2 movement. Like, old t content creators came back to play TF2, the game felt a real resurgence, a real revival. And it's still enjoying the fruits of that, to be fair, but the play numbers are on the up, and Valve are just ignoring the game. When, in my opinion, there are some quite easy fixes they could use or they could do. Update VAC because it is absolutely shite. You know, just a few things that could be done to uh, make the game a little a little fun, a little more fun to play and a little uh, little better. You know, bring it back to how it was. The cheaters were never as bad as they have been, so I don't know what happened, man. No amount of hats will fix this game and it's time that the sole TF team employee gets down, does some actual work to address the major issue that is plaguing TF2 and that is those bloody bots. And instead of targeting fun, fan-made projects, you know, target the people that are actually ruining the game. Because, you know, TF2 Source 2 is something we're never going to see officially from Valve, and this is just something that fans wanted to do, you know, as a, as a nice fan-based project, but no, Valve saw it another way, and used the law to strike it down. But all in all, please Valve, just fix your fucking game. Hashtag, save TF2. I know this is a bit of a different video from me, um, I just wanted to ramble on about this issue that's really, you know, striking the heart of the game that I love and a game that has been a part of my life for many, many years. This is the game that got me into PC gaming. I've, I've made many friends through this game and it hurts me to see it in the current situation that it is. So I just wanted to talk about the Safe TF2 movement that is coming back. We're going to be going for another trending um, push and hopefully Valve actually do something this time because the only way to really get them to act is through public action, getting this thing trending, and hopefully they actually do something this time. But yeah, I've been over the giant tree. Hope you guys have a brilliant day, and hopefully Team Fortress 2 gets the love and attention that it deserves sooner rather than later. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can feel took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.